I am keep hearing this Tony Owl calls uh, from the park that's literally in front of my house. And uh, happened on a few occasions. So I'm out to investigate and see if we can find anything about it. M3 is literally right next to the park, so it is a bit noisy, but the sun is out after weeks of raining. No luck until now, except for a few long-tailed tits robbing blackbirds. With no luck here today, uh, there's still plenty of time. I'm actually thinking to, uh, to go for a bar now. Uh, it's about a 20 minute drive from here, so why not? might be out early who knows uh, let's see right so we're in the car and um, we're gonna head out for the for the bar now Let's see what we get. buzzer literally flying and it still is I don't know if you can see it right, right there it's like a good day buzzard red kite and uh, let's hope the the bar now will join just a few more steps uh, we're there. Right, so this one on the left is where the bar now usually hangs. As I can see, it's not out yet. So we'll sit here for an hour or two. But uh, it just started to rain, and my legs are like weather sealed. So let's hope we we get to see him. It's a bit windy and rainy, so I doubt. to uh, put you through the gear I use. Right, so... Yeah, 
using a full frame 5D Mark IV with a uh, 500F 4.5 so this is the old version no IS and it's pretty heavy and I don't have a tripod at the moment so it is actually a challenge to shoot with it handheld but uh, it does the trick right so this tree right here is actually the tree where the barn owl roost and nest uh, it's full of like cavities but I don't actually know which one uh, is roosting in I've um, seen it once flying in there with a after a cotter ball so uh, yeah it's, uh, it's pretty quiet it's nice it's a nice place nice environment so the gentleman said he did to the owl for a couple of days so yeah let's hope we we get one so to talk you through the settings I use, uh, I'm at 1 1250th of a second uh, with f5. Uh, the ISO is on auto because the light is changing so quickly so uh, I just let the camera do its, its job. Uh, the white balance is on sunny, I like the, the warmth that it gives to the photos. And uh, shoot an AI servo and the uh, neutral so I can do what I want with the colors in post production. It's been about half an hour since I arrived here um, and no sign of the owl. Uh, the light is actually changing so drastically, <laughs> it gets from really cloudy to very strong sun uh, in a matter of seconds and I just had a lady that passed by saying that she actually seen the barn owl lady uh, around this time of day uh, out hunting so let's hope we, we get it I don't know if you can actually see it, but uh, there's plenty of hail now. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's just bumping up my jacket. Let me see. from the tree behind me because I see it with my back arm to the tree I actually missed it so um, let's hope it'll be back on the field hunting soon and we can actually get some decent shots so I moved the locations from that little bench there to here because uh, I know uh, the owl usually perches on, on these poles, if you can see them. So uh, now it's simply a waiting game, usually it comes from that side and flies around. The light now is pretty good actually, and the wind stopped. Uh, it would be great for the barn owl to make uh, its appearance now. Let's hope it will. 
and sun is quite strong and uh, kills my highlights. The owl is here, he's just perched right there. So let me try and get some photos as someone is coming. He is flying quite far now. He's coming. I don't think I can film it with my phone as he's quite far away. Just keep trying to dive but he doesn't catch anything. Give you a quick update. Uh, he flew around for about 20 minutes. Oh, there he is again. Quite a vole disappeared, and now he's out for another one again. Let me see if I can take some video on that on the 5D. I guess I'll call it a day. Uh, the barn owl flew downstream uh, when a kestrel uh, made its appearance. So uh, I did hunt a good 40 minutes with the barn owl in a very good light. So I'm actually quite keen to see what photos I've got. Thank you for watching.